welcome back to Cooking with Grandpa. Me and Lorenzo right here making another video. Today we're going to make a famous cookie, oatmeal cookies. We're going to put raisins in them. If you don't like the raisins, you want to throw chocolate chips in it, you can do that too. Just use chocolate chips. I'm going to get started. I just want to tell you a couple of things. I have my flour here that I sifted with my baking powder and my and my baking soda. You have to sift it first before you throw these oat, uh, oatmeal flakes in because or else you won't be able to sift it. So, and I got this here. All the ingredients I'm going to be listing, I'm going to tell you as we enter them into the mix. And everything will be under the description. You find all the ingredients and how much we use. I got it in weight and I got it in volume for you. So you see what I'm doing right now? I'm just folding this together. This is all ready to go now. And the other problem is you got to you got your raisins here. I soaked them for about an hour. I want them. I'm, I'm going to dry them and I'm going to put them in at the end. You want them to soak for about an hour because you don't want them taking out the moisture from your cookies. And we'll get back to you and we'll get started. Okay, the first thing we're gonna do, it's the creaming method, but it's not like a cake where you're gonna cream it like crazy to get air into it. But you wanna get a good mix on it. So we're gonna cream our butter. I always start my butter first, a little bit at a time. And yet everything should be at room temperature, the butter and all that, I had it out. Okay, I softened up my butter a little bit, a couple of minutes. Now I'm going to start adding my brown sugar. Okay, I just cleaned the sides a little bit. I want to get a nice mixture here. And then we're going to start adding our egg. It's only one egg, so it's kind of simple. Okay, we got a nice mixture going here. I'm gonna put my salt in now. And a half a tablespoon of, of milk. I'm going to clean the bowl and then we're going to start adding the dry ingredients. Okay, I cleaned the bowl. Everything's mixed up nice. Now we're going to start adding our dry ingredients. Put that on speed too so you don't get a mess like I just did. Get this all together. Okay, now we just gotta add our raisins. Mix them in a little bit. Get this all together. Okay, we're scraping our bowl down, getting it all we're set to go, and we uh, my almost an ounce. Scoop. I'm going to try this on this. I'm going a little heavy because I want about an ounce of these cookies. This is a little less than an ounce, this scoop. Okay, see so I got my 12 scoops on here. I'm hoping they're a little heavier than that scoop. I couldn't find my other one. And all I do is take a little wet towel paper towel and beat them down a little bit like this to make them a little flatter and that's it now now I'll be right back to you and we'll put them right in the oven okay we got them all set I'm gonna go in 375 for about 11 minutes we'll get 
get them out of here. Okay, our 11 minutes is up. Shut that off. Over here, get them out. There you go, looking beautiful. Put our second row of 12 in. You're gonna get about 24 50 if you do about an ounce each. We set this for 11 minutes now. And we'll get back to you when this is all done. So you, as soon as you take them out, try to get them off that sheet pan. That'll be a rack to cool down because you don't want it to keep cooking. Get yourself a heavy sheet pan or a good cookie sheet. Don't get those thin ones because you'll end up burning the bottoms. Okay, thanks for watching. And I want to tell you, underneath the description, video in the description hit that button and you'll get all the quantities in volume and in weight and also don't forget to try our joker chip cookies have a great time enjoy it and bake